she found favor with her body. Let me say that again. She found favor with her body. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, in today's video, we're talking about how a woman finds favor in a man's eyes with her body. When we go back to the book of Enoch, when we go look at Proverbs uh, chapter 7, you know, around verses 9 through 11. Man, you see that women learn the art of seduction from the fallen angels. They learn the beautifying of the eyelids. The fallen angels were the ones that taught us sin. The fallen angels was the one that taught all this fornication, this sexual immorality, this whoredom this adultery, this was the fallen angels. That's the reason why they were fallen. Man, a woman learns how to find favor in a man's eyes at a very early age, very young age, because the worldly women show the younger women how to do this by their actions. Man, a woman that finds favor with her body can get discounts that nobody else can. Man, there is, there is this stuff is so deceptive and manipulative to where oftentimes if you see men that do a lot of ear tickling, especially content creators, they will have a woman sitting on a show dressed like a harlot and they'll take the bait of everything she's saying, hook, line, and sinker. And you might be sitting back as a man saying, why is he agreeing with that? The favor that a woman shows with her body can be in righteousness. But that favor is supposed to be in the confines of marriage. The confines of showing that favor with her covering. A woman want to show a little something off to her husband, reveal it all to her husband, her covering, her protector, her provider, her spiritual covering, her leader, her head. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Man, we have been conditioned to operate outside of that, whether it be boyfriend, girlfriend culture, side piece culture, thought piece culture. You look at uh, you look at an artist like Sexy Red. You know, this is a woman that nobody is forcing her to sexualize herself. Women often like to blame men for being sexualized, but here's another, here's another one. When you look at the sexy reds that sexualize themselves, you got an opportunity to pick out whatever wardrobe. Man, there's an agenda from the 2-9 and 3-9 community to push cash, to push money to men, you know, that want to get out here and rap nonsense, to women that want to sell sex and whoredom over the frequencies and wavelengths of music, of audio. That's an agenda by the 2-9 community, the 3-9 community, revelations. But you gotta think, what's the difference between the woman that truly has talent and 
the sexy red. The sexy red is gonna over sexualize herself, put herself out there in a vain way, a worthless way. They'll funnel the money to it to keep it going. And then the people self-destruct because they, like I said, they're getting programmed by this. Man, a woman has to bring that flesh into the obedience of the Most High Yah, you know, and, and, and learn how to be modest. You can go walk in your church and see, you know, a, a woman using her body for favor. Man, it, it's, it's nothing, it's not nothing crazy uh, to hear stories about how a woman has worked her way up a corporate food chain by finding favor in a man's eyes with her body. You know, a lot of men don't realize how they get set up and taken advantage. Man, there is social media platforms, you know, like Twitch. Twitch has put out content creator guidelines to where you cannot show anything categorized as under boob. Under boob is basically what you had a problem with was women getting on Twitch, playing video games in bikinis, you know, and, and almost lingerie and the view count was, was going through the roof. So they pretty much, in order to keep the platform true, they came back and said, you know what? We will remove your content if you are on here showing under boob, you know, trying to show uh, the crease of your butt cheeks. Man, when a woman is hanging around women that have that harlot spirit on them, a young girl is hanging around this, she learns these ways at an early age. This is the way that uh, a woman can seduce men online send you a sexy profile pic, your mind automatically go to left field, left and right field. Next thing you know, you didn't cash after her $250 that it took you two days to earn, two, three days to earn. A woman finds favor in a man's eyes with her body. I didn't say that favor was good. You got to think, there's women out there that are using their money, their money that they've earned for pocketbooks, for purses, for, 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 for red bottoms, for Mac makeup. They're not worried about, let me keep these lights on. Let me keep uh, this car note paid. Let me keep some food in the refrigerator. You know why? because they know how to find favor in a man's eyes with that body. I got this dude over here orbiting around, floating around. All I gotta do is show him a little, show him a little, a, a, a little nipple action. You gotta think, men are not, you, you, you gotta think, man, they got this song out right now. These BBLs killing y'all. That's a song out. Behind the scenes of that, men are not encouraging women to get these BBLs. There's even videos of men talking about these women with BBLs don't know how to maintain their hygiene. They're not wiping themselves properly because you got all this extra mass and you still got the old wipe your butt regimen. That ain't gonna work. These BBLs killing y'all. These women that go out and get this, it's the attention that they desire to get. It's the attention that they want. They want to be able to find favor in a man's eyes. They wanna be able to walk amongst the other women and be the baddest bitch. I wanna be the city girl that everybody looks at. I wanna be able to set the trends with this body when I'm amongst other women. And you gotta, you gotta realize, man, men are saying, men are coming out and saying, 
we don't want no women like that. You got to think there was a, 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 a city judge, a black city judge conducting herself as a doggone city girl. This is somebody appointed to judge a uh, probate in probate court. Found out she was scamming. These women find favor with their body. You you think, okay, how, how did they do it? How did they get there? And you see that a lot of these women, a lot of these women are using crafty measures to get where they want. And part of it is uh, finding favor in a man's eyes with their body. You got to think, man, a woman can get out of a speeding ticket by showing a little breast, talking very uh, sexual, seductive. I told you, women learn the art of seduction from the fallen angels. She found favor in a man's eyes with her body. You go out here and speed, you gonna have to pay that ticket. A woman goes out here and speed, she can play innocent, she can play uh, uh, play like she's naughty. This is all the stuff where a uh, women will use as a tactic to over-sexualize themselves and it leads to their own destruction. You got to keep your daughters away from this. This is why you don't want your daughters hanging around no girls or no women that represent Jezebel, that represent a harlot, that represent skank, and you know that they're out there committing Whoredoms. You got to think, man. You got women like uh, Erica Badu. This woman is a is a is a. Most people don't know that this woman plays around in witchcraft, and and you think about it, part of her act is sexual seduction. You look at a lot of the the, the female artists out here. Part of their act is sexual seduction. You think about it. You can have. A man read the front page of the newspaper on YouTube and that might get 200 views. You can have a woman dressed in something very whorish and skankish read the same front page of the newspaper and that'll get a million views. Why? Because the sexualization of it. Man, there was a woman called uh, the Sassy Trucker, another black woman, but she posed as a trucking guru, a trucking mogul. You look at every one of her pictures that she posted and advertised. She was advertising booty. She was advertising breast. She was advertising all of this stuff that comes with the city girl costume, that comes with the whore costume. You gotta think, you know, a streetwalker can damn near make a man wreck his car by simply just walking up the street, flicking her arms out, having on something skankish and horrors. She found favor in a man's eyes with her body. You got to think a lot of men, like I said, don't know why they get caught up. And it's the art of seduction. See, you got to call it for what it is call it for what it is. And there's women out there that will get upset at this. There's women out there that will be in the comments mad because I'm talking about it. But you know what? There's already set apart women that have already shared this, acknowledged it, and exposed this. Man, there's men out there with women that don't know how they got with this woman and this woman ain't worth a dang. She won't do nothing that a woman is supposed to do. Chances are she hit you with that womp womp and she thought that was good enough. She found favor in a man's eyes with her body. You got women out there that will say, I'ma just, I'ma just try to over-sexualize myself to him and hopefully that's good enough. Maybe if I have some sex with him, you know, some, 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 unrighteous sex with him, fornicate with him, acts of adultery, sexual immorality, if I had that with him, 
he ain't going to focus on all that stuff because I can keep him distracted. That's the art of seduction. See, when a woman uses her body for favor unrighteously, she doesn't want you focused on her character. She don't want you testing the spirit in her like the word says. The art of seduction is, is meant to distract you so you don't look beneath that flesh and say, man, what kind of demons is this woman harboring? Now, now you start to see. I tell you, man, a lot of these Jezebels, you can go to Pink Book Lessons, a channel on YouTube, you know, River TV, The Crimson Cure. A lot of these Jezebels are getting exposed. A lot of these harlots are getting exposed. You got Jezebels getting uh, exposed left and right still for PPP loan fraud. You see what I'm saying? They're selling this and I tell you, you might want to be mindful. You go into a car dealership to purchase a car. And if there's a woman working in the mix and she has the clothing of a harlot on, as Proverbs chapter seven says, guess who? It, guess who's always closing that deal? Guess who's closing that deal? That's gonna be her, especially when you got a man in there trying to purchase a vehicle for his woman and he's on the edge about it being too expensive. Well, we can't afford that. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think that's right for us. You don't have nothing else. They gonna send the woman that's dressed like a harlot in there. Man, you don't want your wife to be riding around looking fine in this. You don't want your, you know, she gonna put that art of seduction on you. Let let somebody take your wife, uh, show her another vehicle while we gonna put this harlot in front of you to distract you from what you was actually focused on of this vehicle being out of your budget out of your price range. She gonna come in there with the high heels, the stilettos, the hooker heels, showing some legs, have a deep split in that skirt, have a blouse on that reveals the cleavage, possibly see through. You can see the, the, the lingerie she got on. Come on, man. She found favor with her body. Did we already know this about the music industry? You gotta look at how many lawless parents were stupid and ignorant enough to let their daughters go work with R. Kelly so they could have a, a shot at fame. See, I, I, I'm talking that real stuff. This is why I kick it gun barrel straight and people hate it because I kick it gun barrel straight where they want, uh, you know, all of this, all of this deception to keep going on. You go to a church and you see a female pastor and she's selling sex. She's finding favor with her body. There's a video out where this woman admits finding favor in her college professor's eyes and not having to actually work for a degree. And the school found out about it and they said, we want it back. This woman thought it wasn't nothing wrong with it because she was used to finding favor in a man's eyes with her body. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.